What is going on guys? Welcome to this episode of Odds and Ends. Today, we have our trade show aftermath. Ah! All right guys, here we go. Most anticipated video of the summer. The trade show aftermath. Now the trade show, the online trade show, the live trade show is always a great time. It's, it's fun to spend time with friends uh, that, you, that you watch their channels or maybe you text them a couple times a year or whatever, but you get to see them live and in person and make trades. I think that summertime is probably, the, the end of summer is probably the best time to do the trade show because everybody's gone to the yard sales and we still have stuff left over that uh, we didn't sell or you know, maybe, maybe we kept for a while and now we just want to get rid of and we trade it to our friends. So all the links, all the channels will be in the description down below. Make sure you check them out and let them know that uh, CM Retro sent you. That's how we network and connect and grow our channels. That would be much, much appreciated. To those of you that uh, got my packages a little late, sorry work has been hectic, but I did confirm everybody does have their packages, so they should be posting pickup videos on their channels. Again, links are down below. Okay, so let's just get started. Uh, oh, last announcement, sorry, then we'll get started. We decided that we would rotate trade shows. So if you're interested in participating in the online live trade show, you're gonna wanna subscribe to all those channels because they're all gonna be hosting trade shows in the future. So make sure that you do that for sure. And we're gonna dive right into it. I'm not even gonna jump cut right here. I'm gonna jump and I'm just gonna pick this up and I'm gonna jump back in the way. This one comes to us from the Woodburyan Retro Game Hunter. Josh is a super nice dude. Awesome pickups if you haven't seen his channel. But uh, I went ahead and pre-opened these just to save a little time. And uh, inside we have a bunch of DS cases. Now he knows that uh, I use these Nintendo DS cases for my Game Boy Advance collection. So, <laughs> so Josh threw those in and those will go to good use. Caroline, take that for me. Thank you. But uh, the main thing that we traded for is inside this pink box right here that says Thanks for the trade, CM. Thought you could use the cases included N64 box inside. I am very, very excited to get this N64 box. This box is for my favorite N64 game of all time. My brother used to play it with me, my dad, my sister. This is just a great, great game. Maybe my favorite game on the Nintendo 64. Wow. Like I said, I opened them, but I didn't even like look at the condition or whatever. But it is, wow. It is the box from Mario Kart 64, which is amazing. So uh, there's no game inside, but it is the uh, the manual and the insert. And Carol Ann, if you would hand me that piece of plastic right there, that would be most helpful. And I have a case for it. I've already, I've already got a box ready for it. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave my loose copy of Mario Kart out in case the kids wanna play it. We're gonna put that in the case. So thank you so much, uh, Woodbury and Retro Game Hunter. This is a very nice box. This is like now one of my favoritest things in my entire collection. Um, I don't do a lot of boxed N64 stuff, even though I do love the N64, but this is definitely one of the games that I wanted complete. So thank you, we'll put that right there for now. Our next box, comes from Handsome Dan O'Day from the Rebel Gaming Club. Rebel Rebel Gaming Club. Very happy to do a trade with Dan. Dan is an awesome dude. You guys, you guys know. Open this up. There is the note. These guys put a lot of effort into their notes. My notes like, to you. Thank you for trading with me, CM. That's my note. Uh, Dan says, thanks for the trade, Chris. Enjoy the games. Tight White ain't got this. Dan from Rebel Gaming Club. Uh, first game in here, this is really cool. The guy at GameStop actually recommended this to me. This is uh, Yoku's Island, Yoku's Island Express. Now it plays like a pinball game, which is really fun, but it's also an action adventure game. So that was really cool. It was one of the games I was looking into for the PS4. It wasn't, wasn't really sold on it yet, but to be able to get a copy in a trade is definitely worth it. And I'm sure Caroline will want to play that. We got, uh, this was pretty cool, Vindicators. 
for the NES in the box. Now Dan said it doesn't have the manual, so I will jump online and I'll order the manual for that, but can't pass up on complete in-box Nintendo games. And the last thing that we got here is a Sega Saturn game that I didn't have, and that is Siberia. So we'll get this out of the, out of the package. Rawr. Try and save that bubble wrap. Rawr. There we go. Siberia for the Sega Saturn. Great job packing Dan, he's a professional. Put some bubble wrap right over the disc right there so it doesn't fall out. But uh, yeah, very, very cool to get a Sega Saturn game. And this looks like a uh, first person flying shooter kind of thing. I, I don't know, I'm not very familiar with this game, but it looks awesome. So thank you very much, Dan from Rebel Gaming Club. Our next package comes from Louisiana. Carly Kinman sent us a box. So Carly, uh, we made a trade Obviously, it's the trade show unboxing, so obviously I traded for it. All right. And we have a note. I kind of like having this here. I can put stuff down on there. All right. So Carly says, uh, Chris, thanks so much for having me on the trade show again this year, and thanks for hosting. I was excited for it because I love the community, and it's refreshing to see a group of people with common interests get together and have a great time to help one another out. Enjoy your games and thank you for your continued support of my channel. You're the best. I am the best. Carly. So thank you for the note. All these notes that I get from people, I actually put in games that they send me. So that is pretty awesome. All right, I will give this to Mysterious Hand. <laughs> so uh, Carly got a bunch of uh, PS3 games like super cheap at uh, like thrift store. And I was like, hey, save that one for me. Save that one, save that one, save that one. And uh, I traded her some games. You guys can check out her channel. But we got Dark Sector. Feels heavy, which I think was a bonus. I don't remember trading for that one. Oh, here we go. It says, I also got you this awesome coaster. And it's a copy of Madden 25. <laughs> With Barry Sanders on it, mind you, the Hall of Famer. So, oh, Dark Sector Complete. Don't know anything about that game. So that's awesome. PS PS3 collecting is so much fun right now because Everything's really cheap. Uh, something that I wouldn't normally buy for myself. So again, happy to get it in a trade. That's what trading is all about. But it is the mm, hiccup. It is the God of War Origins collection, Chains of Olympus and Ghosts of Sparta. These were the games that came out on the PSP. So I wouldn't normally buy these on the PSP. And I have all of them, I think, on the PS2. So this is a perfect collection. PS3 has so many of these uh, compilations and collections that it's just, it's awesome. A uh, game that I actually have, this is a, a Fighting Climax X, but this one that I got from Carly is complete. Mine is missing the manual. So this one comes with, like I said, the manual and a soundtrack that hasn't been opened. So that's very cool for, you know, collectability. And then we got uh, Akiba's Trip, which is an X Seed game. Complete, again, Carly, professional professional packer right there. Put the bubble wrap on the game. So, very cool. I've seen this one at GameStop. I don't really know what it's about, but it kind of looks like on the back, like, like Yakuza, like you're walking around kind of doing stuff. Uh, it doesn't look like an RPG. Very happy to add this game to the collection. Uh, from what I understand, this is a little bit harder game to get a hold of, especially complete and especially in very nice condition. We'll take the bubble wrap out of there before I show it to you. But it is... Folklore for the PlayStation 3. As you can see, that one has the manual, very nice condition. And it has, to make it extra complete, it has the PSP advertisement in there, which is really cool. So, turn that, there we go. Definitely happy to add those to the collection. Awesome, so the last package comes to us from the Video Game Collector. Love the Video Game Collector. Uh, what is that box over there? No, I leave it back. I can't find the box, that. Oh, God. Thank you. We have found the box. Holy crap. You scared the crap out of me. Crappity crap, crap, crap. <laughs> Carol Ann took my box, but now we have it. Hi, guys. All right. 
enough fooling around. Let's get to the package. So very excited again, like I said. Whew. Now, Tony did text me because we're cool like that. Uh, text every day. He said he didn't put a note in there, but he just wanted everybody to know. He thinks I'm the greatest YouTuber of all time. His favorite YouTuber, all that stuff. So I love YouTube, bro. All right, we're gonna save this one for the end because that's, that's the main event right there. Uh, he had a couple manuals that I needed. So uh, he hooked us up with a manual for pinball for the NES. Very excited to get that. And then a manual for Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee for the GameCube, which I recently picked up and it didn't have a manual. This I'm not gonna keep, I'm actually gonna complete that copy and send it out to our, our friend, Henry Gonzalez, friend of the channel, uh, for free because he's such a great guy, great supporter of the channel. So Henry, I'll put those together and I will get that out to, to you. Plus, cool little loose disc holder right there. Now, uh, video game collector said, hey, do you, do you happen to have one of these? I said, no, nah, man, I'll have one. He goes, you do now. So he included it in the box. Pretty awesome. It is a PlayStation 4 camera, which Carol Ann is very excited. You're shaking the camera. You're Come here. Carol Ann is very okay. excited to have a PlayStation 4. Usually she has to stand on a, like a chair, but yeah. here, you can take that and hold on to it. Now get out of here. Hey, no. <laughs> All right. So the main event, I'm very excited, man. This is Super Hydora for the PlayStation 4. Woo wee, Tony's a professional. Put the bubble wrap on there. Turn the manual around so it didn't get nicked up. We're gonna take a look at it. Guys, you guys know I love my shoot 'em ups and uh, this is a limited run game. This is not a game that I would normally buy for myself. It is a uh, limited run 129. So yeah, I can't wait to load this up and start playing it. I don't, I don't know what to say, I'm just gonna put it up there. Yay. All right guys, that is gonna do it for our unboxing video for the trade show for everybody here at CM Retro Gaming, including myself and me, Carol Ann. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day. Take care of yourselves. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. All right, so the last package comes to us from the Video Game Collector. Very excited to get this. Uh, let me grab the box real quick. Right there. Uh, I thought I left it behind there. Nope. Over there. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Thank you, Carol Ann. Sup, peeps. <laughs> wow. You just hit me in the face with a box. Sorry. Owie. Hey, Gerard. <laughs>